Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of April. So this could happen at any time in April, okay? So we're just going to see what comes out. What do we have for Aries for the month of April? Time to go. Time to go. It may have something to do with the number 45 as well. It looks like we have somebody here that is going down a path. They're going through a new doorway. Um, they're being led in that direction. This is uh, replacing fear with faith. Okay. Um, it's time. It's time to go somewhere. I'm going to read it. It's time to go. Endings, completion, walking away from something because there is nothing else to learn or experience. You are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience this far. Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do, be, or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on even if you need to be in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. It's over, or at the very least, the form this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you and the other person. This is a time of letting go, of knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion. This doesn't mean anything is lost, although this card could speak to a breakup, drifting apart, or the end of a soul contract. It is more about release than destruction. Remember the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If not, it never was. Endings are always a sign of new beginnings. If you want something deeper, it's time to walk away. You're going to be walking away from something. It is meant to be. It is meant to be. Okay? It is time to go in that new direction. All right? We have a new beginning here. We do. So what do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? The Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is good luck. Okay, it's good luck. It's fate. It's destiny. It's meant to be. You're probably headed towards something that is meant to be. All right? This is always changing. This is life always changing. This is a cycle in your life that is coming to an end. You may find yourself at the right place at the right time. So some sort of positive change is coming. It's going to make you very, very, very happy. This is the wheel of life. Life is always changing. You are about to experience a major life change. This is changing directions. This is destined. So there's some sort of destined here. There's a destined change of course. You will be going down a new path, going through a new doorway, leaving something behind. It's meant to happen at this time. It's time to move on from something that I think that, you know, you've been reluctant to move on from. But wherever it is that you're headed, you're headed towards something that is meant to be, okay? Destined. That's the wheel spinning you in a new direction. And whatever it is, it's a lucky break. Okay? It's luck. It's good luck. Oh, we're not using that deck. We're using this one. It's interesting. I picked up the wrong deck and decided I don't want that one. So there's, there, there's a new option here. There's a new option. You got a new option there, Aries. 
it's meant it's meant for you this is something that is better suited for you Queen of Swords, Six of Wands. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or anybody that is very authentic, very forthright. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, um, obviously you've been speaking with somebody that has been very interesting. I think this is a very intense situation. Six of Wands reversed is the end of a battle, something not, not losing a battle. This is losing a battle. It's not a victory. There's no victory here. Somebody has abused their power. There's no growth or there's no excitement or something like that. Six of Wands. This is a cocky, smug individual who likes to fight. You're dealing with somebody who likes to fight and there's like a no desire. No desire, no attraction to this person. I feel like there's a lack of growth, lack of desire, lack of attraction. Queen of Swords. You probably have another option. Somebody that is very alluring to you. Okay, this person. You got their fingernails. Somebody that is very alluring, very attractive. Um, authentic. Male or female. I think that you have been in a situation that hasn't been making any progress. And this is about making an intelligent, informed decision. You may be making a decision based on truth, based on facts. I think you've been dealing with somebody that is combative. You know, this person likes to fight. Very, very smug, and I feel like this is like seeing things differently. It's a new perspective, gaining a new perspective, seeing the truth. The Queen of Swords is, is very honest, truthful, factual energy. So this is a fact. There's no progress. There's no success. There's no victory here. This is making that informed decision, getting a new perspective. It is intense. I think that you are in an intense situation. I feel, and I also feel as though you are headed towards somebody that is very intelligent. You may be headed towards somebody that is very uh, to the point, very sharp, very, um, I feel like there's some sort of... Uh, instant attraction to this person as well it feels like it's very instant could be an air sign i think i already said it gemini libra aquarius i do believe there's also some news that is coming there's some sort of message that is coming that may that may cause you to leave you may get some sort of information from somebody that you know this is what you needed this is what you needed to hear Devil reversed. That is breaking free or things getting worse. Somebody is breaking free from a toxic situation that is unhealthy. Somebody has been in an unhealthy situation and things have not been getting better. It is definitely time to go. That's the truth. This is seeing the truth, taking a new approach. Something about money. Money has held somebody back. Financial reasons. There could be a change of residence here. It's interesting because here I was going to say, don't let the money or the, the finances hold you back. I was going to say that. Be honest. Be upfront. Be, be truthful with yourself. Somebody has been in an unstable, unsuccessful partnership or business, whatever it is. This is uh, short-lived success, financial disaster. It's a huge loss. Okay, there's, there's uh, false impressions here. Family feud, family fighting, fighting over money. You may have been fighting over, and there's materialism here for the devil and the ten of coins. Somebody has been... Uh, dealing with somebody because of money, because of financial reasons. 
It's time to leave that behind. Perhaps somebody's going to be moving, leaving it behind, just leaving the home behind or leaving the money behind, leaving it behind. Somebody may have married or got into a relationship for the money and that was the only reason because there's no love here. There's, there's some sort of uh, false impressions. Somebody has not been honest and I feel like the truth is coming out. There's going to be, I feel like there's going to be a conversation in regards to money. It could be a fight. There could be a fight over money because this is fighting and this is money. It could be a fight over money, you know, that d makes you decide that it is time to go. I think you're dealing with somebody that is very harsh, somebody that is selfish. I think you've got somebody here that is more interested in financial stability than they are love, okay? Or passion or anything like that. I think you're in a passionless, loveless situation with somebody that is brash, somebody that is very cold and calculated and only cares about the things, you know, the money, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, I think it's money. I think it's materialism. You're dealing with a materialistic individual who may have gotten themselves involved with you just for the financial stability or for the money or for the looks of it, you know, for it to look good to the outside world. Anyway, I do think maybe you could provide something for them, you know, and it looked good. But I think that you're going to be walking away from this person because there's no progress, there's no growth, there's no success, and there's a lot of pettiness, there's a lot of fighting. You're dealing with somebody that is very arrogant, very smug. Um, and I think that you're headed towards somebody that is more authentic, more genuine, more um, alluring to you. I think that you are headed towards somebody else, and I think that that it all happens at once. It's it's pretty interesting. It feels like you win, you you lose one, and you run into a new one. It's just, it's just like that. It feels like it happens just like that. It's like as soon as you. But this said the the book said something about a transition. So you may need a period of transition. You may need a period to just you know, heal and to think about everything that has happened because I feel like you're going to be going through a major life change. One chapter of your life is definitely ending with an individual that you have been tied to, you have been bound to for materialistic reasons or for show, you know, this may have looked good or something like that, but you, this is, this is a change. Okay. This is letting go of the show. It's letting go of the impressions. It's letting go of the false appearance appearances. It's letting go of whatever it is that isn't real and headed towards something more authentic. There's some sort of disgrace here as well with that six of wands reversed. There's some, there could be some embarrassment. Maybe you've been staying with somebody because of embarrassment. You know, what's everybody going to say? You know, um, I think that you need to be honest with yourself. Honor your own truth. It doesn't matter what everybody else is going to say. If they don't support your decisions, they're not your friends. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very prideful and smug. Okay, they are. This is somebody who thinks that their shit don't stink. Okay, and they can treat people like shit. Is that the kind of person you want to be associated with? So this definitely has something to do with money. No doubt about it. It has to do with money. You, I think that you have to make a choice as to what's most important with, to you. You have a new doorway that is going to be opening, a new prospect, a new endeavor, a new opportunity to start over, to go down a new path. It's not going to be easy to start from scratch, but you have all the skills to do to do so. It's like you've been given a gift or you're going to be given a gift. You're going to be given a golden opportunity to start over with somebody that is more authentic, somebody that can actually reciprocate with you, where there will be equality, where you it won't be one-sided. I think that you have been with a person that you know, has abused their, your generosity. They may have taken your kindness for weakness, okay? And you may have been naive. You may have allowed them to do so because of some sort of social pressure, you know, or because it looked so good. I do see you breaking free from somebody that, you know, 
this person is probably not a very nice person. And I think you have another option. Like I said, it happens all at once. I think you are headed towards something where there's it's like a realignment. You're going to be realigned or you're going to be aligned with somebody that you're on the same you know, level with. I think that you're going to be... Um, That's what it is. It's going to be realigning with somebody that can bring balance to your life where there's equality and reciprocation and you may need to adapt to a change. You're, you are going to have to adapt to a change. There is an earthly power that is larger than yourself that is guiding you down a new path towards somebody that will actually give you what you deserve. Okay, and I feel like you're with somebody right now that is not bringing balance and harmony to your life. So that chapter is about to end with this person. You're going to be severing ties or they're going to be severing ties. Ties are going to be severed. It is not going to be easy. It's not. This is this is this page of pentacles, you know, um, is where you start over. You you start over. It's not easy. It's not fun. I feel like this is like seeing the light and all that is practical. It's doing the right thing. You know, I got to do the right thing. This is a new opportunity for stability and security for me. And, it, and if it means I have to start over, then that's what I need to do. I think you're going to be taking charge. I think that you probably have a golden opportunity to uh, start something new. Okay, this could be a new job, a new love prospect. Whatever is happening, a new path is, is being presented to you. And you're being called to go down that path and leave behind the unstable situation that you have been in. I think that there's, there, there's a lot of fighting. There's fighting over money. Or there's an unstable business or home life. And I feel like you have an opportunity to... Uh, get together with somebody that will actually give you equality. You know, this will be a, a not a one-sided situation. It will be, you know, equal give and take. You're going to, you do have an offer here. You're going to be receiving an offer. Okay, you're going to be receiving an offer or you already have received the offer. I would take the offer. I would take the offer because this is an opportunity for success. It's an opportunity for alignment. It's an opportunity for harmony. So anyway, I feel like this month that you are destined for change and you are headed right towards somebody that is very intelligent, very... Uh, Assertive. This person uh, may be a professional. This is you're headed towards somebody that is whatever they do. This this person makes money. You know they can they're going they can help you. They can help you to make money. Okay, they can help you with your endeavors, but it will require you to walk away from something else. But this is a choice, right? The Two of Pentacles is a choice. I feel like right now you, you, you're going through some ups and downs. You're trying to choose which one do I want. You have two options here. You can't have both. It doesn't work like that. I feel like, you know, right now, you know, this is a profit and a loss. I feel like right now, you, you know, you win some, you lose some. This is, this is, you lose something and you gain something. So this happens all in unison. I feel like you walk away from somebody that is very smug, cocky, self-centered, uh, doesn't really give you what you need. This person is superficial. They're materialistic. They want you to give them everything, but they don't have anything to offer you. I feel like you walk away from that person and you walk through a new doorway that expands your life, that brings you reciprocation, that brings you money, that brings you uh, balance. Okay, you're, you're walking away from an unbalanced situation into a balanced situation where you get the, what you deserve. Okay. I feel like somebody has abused your kindness. They've abused their generosity, your generosity. 
And I think that you're probably going to be taking a new approach. You may have come across somebody or ran into somebody suddenly and things changed your perspective. Sometimes we run into people by chance. You know, it just happens and it changes everything. So I'm not sure if you've run into somebody that has changed your perspective and now you need to break free from this devil, you know, it's like you've been you've been dealing with somebody that is very superficial. Extremely. This is somebody that is very greedy. And perhaps at one point you are on that path as well. You know, you, you wanted all those things, you know, whatever. I have to tell you, I mean, where is the love? Because I don't see it. Does anybody see any love in these cards? Anybody? I don't see it. I don't. It's all about money. Somebody is engaged with another person right now. And it's not about love, it's about money, it's about stability. What can I get from you? There is an opportunity for something better. But it will require you to walk away. So I feel like, you know, it's profit and a loss. This is the universe giving you a chance to realign your values, realign yourself with somebody that is truthful and authentic, and this person can bring you what you deserve. And this person can will actually give you, you won't have to do all the work by yourself. There'll be equal give and take. Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? That's what I'd like to know. Where is the love? Not here. This is a separation. Two of cups reversed. I mean, how much? Where is the love? Not here. You have an opportunity, I know that you do, for somebody that you are more aligned with. It's time for a separation. That is a breakup. It is a separation from a partner that doesn't reciprocate or they don't. There's a lack of love. You may have to be honest. You may have to have a challenging conversation with this person. It is time to break free. Somebody's with the wrong one. They're with somebody that they're not even compatible with. There's inequality. And there's an opportunity for equality with somebody that... You are more aligned with, and the universe is going to push you in that direction. Don't fight it, or things will get worse. This is the universe pushing you in a direction towards something that is authentic. Don't fight it, or things are going to get worse. Things will get worse. This is total ruin of a business. Karma works in mysterious ways. This is the kind of karma. If you fight... The truth. If you fight it just because of money, things will get worse. You could lose your job. You could lose your business. You know, something like that. The universe works in mysterious ways. You could lose your house. Something crazy could happen. If you fight what is meant to be because of money, It's time to surrender and walk away from whoever this is that you are holding on to for all the wrong reasons. You have a better option here. 
Believe me, you will be financially successful with whoever this next person is. But you have to face your fears right now. Take this risk. You do, you, the thing is, is you deserve to be loved and you shouldn't have to do it all by yourself. Especially when there's a partner here where there will be equal give and take. Good luck on this move.